So here we are at the Museum of Welsh Life in St Fagans in Cardiff. There's all manner of things to see if you come to St Fagans and as the clue the name the clue is in the name. It's the Museum of Welsh Life so it sort of shows you how people lived throughout the history of the country. Most of the buildings that are here at St Fagans are actual real buildings that have been taken down and rebuilt here. Nicked it. Which is an incredible feat if you think about it. So everything you see here at St Fagans is genuine. If you do come to St Fagans be prepared to walk for miles and miles. The stuff is really well spaced out and obviously being as these are original buildings you can imagine it's spread over a vast area and you're going to do a lot more walking than you thought because the map well that's pretty much useless. Good thing about it though is every time you come here there's new stuff because they're continually collecting buildings and bringing them here and rebuilding them so it's worth a visit and it's worth coming back again. So here at St Fagans we have a cappuccino from the cafe whilst Holly does some painting. There are some buildings here. They weren't originally here. They've been moved brick by brick or I don't know cow pack by cow pack or whatever they're called but how they make them and it's very interesting. It's quite spread out quite a lot of walking, some of it a bit uneven on the foot, most of it okay though. But yes, all in all, I wouldn't want to come here when it's raining. If you paid money to come to St Fagans, you wouldn't be disappointed. You really think you've got your money's worth. But you don't have to pay any money. It's all free, completely free. And that makes it a real bargain. You do have to pay six quid for the car park though, because even though they've made the museum free, they still had to find some way of taking a bit of money away from you. There's so much to see here that you could just come time and time and time again. So if you live local, it's not too bad. Obviously, if you're coming from a long way away, you're going to have to really book off an entire day for St Fagans, because there is that much to see, and there's a lot of walking. Bring your walking shoes. We're on the final leg of the journey. We're final absolutely leg. knackered. We've walked far too much, and now we're starting to slow down a bit. The last bit of the thing to see is the castle and gardens. So we've come down here, have a look at the castle, oh, look at this cake. and look see if we can have some tea and cake. It's like it's shedding. One of the things you find quite interesting is a lot of the signs obviously are in Welsh, even though there's generally enough English to get you by. And it is a celebration of Welsh history and culture, and the language is part of that culture. But what I find really interesting is the number of people who work here who speak to each other in Welsh. And this is Cardiff. Very few people speak Welsh in South Wales, or well, certainly not as a first language anyway. When they say castle, I think they really mean stately home. Well, what a wonderful day out we've had. Lovely day in September. Huh? at St Fagan's Museum. And the weather has been wonderful. It has. But we're both knackered and in need of a cup of caffeine in order to get us home. <laughs> Obviously it's no place to come in the rain, but I'm sure we'll definitely come here again.